In this lecture, we will meet our project AR Ready. We will import AR related packages in the project. Developing an AR application from scratch isn't easy task. You need to know advanced algorithm for image processing, motion tracking, and even machine learning. Luckily, Apple and Android have developed their own AR software development kits or SDKs, which combine the necessary algorithms into packages to make the task easier. Unfortunately, if you want to build an AR application for both iOS and Android devices, you need to use both SDKs, which double your development efforts. To solve this, Unity has a library called AR Foundation. This library can help you find your AR application for both iOS and Android with a single code base. Now take a look at most popular AR device and their SDK. Before AR Foundation, developer had to write different sets of code using device-specific SDKs to communicate with AR devices. If you wanted to support all the devices in a single application, you had to write several branching logic to switch between platforms. This made the development more time consuming and code base more complicated. With AR Foundation, you can use the unified interface to control device specific SDKs. To do this, we will dive down a little bit more into the architecture of AR Foundation. There are two core parts of AR Foundation architecture, AR subsystem, AR components. AR subsystem is the bridge between Unity and native AR SDK modules. Every subsystem provides different features like image tracking subsystem detects images and recast subsystem cast rays. The subsystem only defines methods interface. They don't have any implementation details. The actual implementation details are written in different device specific XR plugins such as ARKit XR plugin for iOS and the AR Core XR plugin for Android. These plugins implement the methods defined in the subsystem using the native AR SDK functions. Here are some components you will encounter next. AR Session for the life cycle of AR. AR Plane Manager for surface detection. AR Raycast Manager for detecting user touch in the AR environment. Use AR Session and AR Session Origin to make a simple AR application. Both of them are key components of AR Foundation program. So it's important to understand them. What is AR session? AR session controls the life cycle of AR session. It keeps getting updated from the subsystem to check if the session is still alive. And what is AR session origin? AR session origin keeps your virtual objects in the correct position in AR environment. It keeps getting updated from the subsystem and modifies the position of the virtual object to stay aligned with the real environment. Notice that you need to place your AR object under the AR session origin in the hierarchy. If you don't, the position of the object won't update. There is a package manager inside the Unity that basically helps to extend the Unity functionality. In our case, we will be extending the AR functionality of Unity. For that, we will import few AR related packages. Here is a list of different Unity packages that can be installed to extend the Unity functionality. To search a specific package, we can search to filter the packages. The first package we need is a AR foundation and let's install this package. In this project, we will be using an AR core package. At the end of each lecture, we will be testing on Android device. If we need an iOS build, then we will also install an AR kit package. And for AR, the last package we need is XR plugin management. In my case, it's already installed. Now let's open a project setting. Now basically we have all the packages installed, but now we need to activate the package. That means we need to tell the XR plugin management which platform we are going to use. Open the project setting and go to XR plugin management at the end of this list. Here you can see on the PC tab we have a different platforms to develop. In the Android section, we have a list of platforms and we will select the AR core to extend the functionality of AR core in the Unity. That's it. Now we have extended the capabilities of Unity to use the functionalities of AR. 
Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next lecture.